Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to cover what are the different test cases, test scenarios that should come up to your mind or you should test them when you are testing a mobile application. Okay. Now let it be in any of the platform. It can be in Android or it can be an, an iOS platform. So what are the basic test scenarios that you should uh, take care of when you are testing or you know these questions are also asked in an interviews that what would be the possible test scenarios when you are testing a mobile application. So let us go through this checklist once. Okay. Now, first of all, uh, ensure the app has been launched by downloading and installing it for use. Now, after you download and install the app, the app should get successfully launched. It should get launched properly. Also, mobile app display should be adaptable to the device screen and also ensures all menus on the app are functioning. So these are more of functional functionality testing cases. Verify that the text on the mobile app is readable and clear. Check that the app display is adaptable and amenable to the various display mode. It can be landscape or it can be portrait mode. Now, if the app comes with a user's setting features, check if the app changes when some form of the changes is affected by the user. Okay, then check that the app is still working as intended after the successful update of the app. Let's say if the application got an update from Google Play Store or some sort of update it got, whether the application got the update or <clears throat> your phone got update, updated, then also app should continue to working as continue to work as it was working before. Also, it should work properly at different battery levels and temperatures. Even if your phone battery is at 4% or if it is at 99%, the behavior of the application should not get changed. One of the performance testing case you can add over here, here is that the app should not drain too much of battery. Let's say if you are opening some application in your mobile and you are using it for 30 minutes or one hour, then the time as per the time, the battery level should not get reduced drastically. Okay, it should it would get reduced because there are other apps also open on the mobile, but you have to capture the data properly such that the app should not drain much of your battery. App should also support image capturing app does not log out the user before end of a session. Let's say if you are using the app and just for a sort of a second you switch to another app or you got a phone call or you got some WhatsApp message or you got some text message, then if you are switching back to the app within the normal workaround of time, normal period of time, then it should not log you out from the mobile app session. Then check the performance of the app on different internet networks such as 2G is there, 3G, 4G, or when you are using the application with respect to the uh, Wi-Fi of some other device. Okay. Now over here, there can be two sort of Wi-Fi that you can use. Let's say you have a router configured at your home and you are, you are, your device is only being used with respect to that router or you are, uh, enabling the hotspot of some other mobile and then you are using the Wi-Fi of it. Then check that the app is adaptable to different mobile platforms such as Android, iOS. Check that the font size and style of the app are compatible and readable to the users. Verify that the loading time for the app is not too long. Verify that the app does not stop the functioning of other apps in the mobile device. Let's say if you have to test some particular application XYZ and at the same time you are opening the cricket gaming application in your mobile which has already been installed. It should not get stopped because of this particular application has got installed. Verify that in the play screen the back key allows the app to go back to the startup screen. Check that the app still operates as intended. Check whether the app reminds the user to save setting changes or changing of information be before moving to other activities on the app. Verify that the on-screen keyboard appears immediately the user attempt to enter a text. Similarly, if it's a gaming application, then there should be proper, uh, you know, levels that should be displayed to the user. Okay, now he is moving to that second level, third level like that. And the moment you have signed in into that application using your Gmail account. Even if you uninstall the application and if you install the application back after two months, the levels of the uh, application that the gaming person has, you know, got before two months should be retained over there. It should not be like he should, he, he has to start the game from beginning. So that you can keep in 
that is one of the test case that you can keep in mind when you are testing a mobile application with respect to that is pertaining to the gaming application other than that uh, if you know if you are also testing a gaming application you can also think about various uh, various features that are available they should be user friendly they should be readable it should not be like uh, that the that the customer or the u end user has to uh, remember all the features or has to again and again go to the help menu and check what are all the different options that are available okay so another few of the scenarios that we can cover at the end is that the check if the app behaves as designed if the mobile device is shaken let's say if your mobile got slipped from the hand not at much of the distance let's say if you are sitting on a sofa and it fall on a floor so then also the app should behave properly until unless mobile is not uh, you know damaged verify that the app still functions as designed when battery low notifications appear on the screen check that the app goes into the background when on call check that the app still operates as designed when a message or notification pop up from another app such as social media applications facebook instagram is been countered okay so these are few of the test scenarios test cases that you should take care when you are you know testing a mobile application or if you are going to an interview round and they are asking you that what are all the test scenarios that you will cover if we are giving you the mobile application to test so these are the high level scenarios that you can give it to them and and there will be you know these are all the possible scenarios the positive and the negative okay so thank you for your time stay tuned for more videos if you have liked this video please share it with the maximum people in the community so that everyone gets uh, benefited and like this video comment on this video thank you